a cringe little creature. I'm your dad. I bet it's really good. This is not a threat to you. It's also very small. And for that, you're going in the fanny pack. That would probably kind of rip open my stomach. Oh, look at that. Is there anything that bad? Oh, I did. Ooh. Good evening, Kanye. Look at this adorable baby boy. Got my fanny pack on tonight because I keep my heat in it. Oh no, it's gone. Well, it doesn't matter. Up until now, he was always just a little bean to me. But now I see him as a real live kangaroo. I think I'm always going to be the alpha to him. Ooh. But he does not like it when I touch his ball. For some reason, you can touch kangaroos anywhere you want. On the belly, or on the chest, especially, or on the arms. But the second you touch their butt from behind, they just do not like that. I don't know why. Look at this little man. He will scratch. Now look at this. This is what his kicks look like now. Look. He's about to give me a little bit of a boop. How's about you give me another little boop? See, that's a little scratch from him. Everybody, oh, I just swallowed a bug. Is there anything that bad? Oh, I did. Oh, dropped you there. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I just need to, I'm sorry, I need to pick this up. See, it's really not that bad. And then he'll just reach around and grab me in my belly. This still doesn't hurt that much, but I feel like when he's a big man, and if these arms get much bigger and stronger, that it would probably kind of rip open my stomach. They do have real sharp claws. Now, I might be able to clip them or file them down maybe a little bit, do that humanely. Probably some kind of thing. I could just make him wear little boxing gloves, because why does he need to dig? But he do be grooming and scratching himself with these, especially when he be school. Ooh, almost got me right in the boy. See, this is nighttime to baby. This is what he's like. He's really adorable still. And the wild Wide angle lens for this. That's a dangerous dinosaur, as they might say. Urban Rescue Ranch. Look, he's getting distracted. This is nighttime to baby, everybody. Also, it's me editing Ben. I'm back. <laughs> but this is what he's like. He likes to rip open my arms. My arms are literally getting my forearm got ripped open by this adorable little baby boy. And honestly, it was kind of cute. But right now he just grabbed and fell back with all of his weight to try and, and to try and rip open my stomach. I guess this is how they fight in the wild with the other male kangaroos. They'll grab each other like that, they'll kick each other. You know, they'll scratch each other's face. I would not want to be doing this with him if he was about six feet tall. But it wouldn't be impossible. And if I literally just put little boxing gloves on him, it'd be hilarious. And then he literally could fight Jake Paul and most definitely win. And look how adorable he is. Paul had all the time in the world to go ahead and agree to fight him when he was a baby. Paul at any point in time could have agreed to fight the baby when he was nice and small. But no, he couldn't do that. So now he's going to have to fight the baby when he's a... It cut off, but 200 pound the baby. And right now he's 100 a... pound the baby. Baby. Pretty soon he will be double this. So he could be triple this at some point. <laughs> Give me a kiss. The baby. Good kiss. Good kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay. See, he is a good man. At the end of the day, I can talk to him and work with him. He calms down a little bit. Now he's okay with me petting his back. Normally, he never lets me do this. This is him submitting. I'm 100% positive. This is him submitting. He's pretending to be concerned with something over there when in reality, there's nothing over there. Now he's just going to walk away. I think I just kind of showed him, hey, I'm your dad, and I raised you from the time you were a little bean. So he had to submit to that. And now he's just going to hop off and be by himself. And man, oh man, I am bleeding. I actually do have a few bleeders from him scratching. Oh, actually a couple. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow, that's real nice. That actually looks kind of dang. But the baby actually could be dangerous in like a couple months. There's my grape. It's not doing too well. But take a look at this, you guys. You remember the stowaway chicken that, was, that came here in that adorable little thing? She was actually a stowaway when I got this little trailer here this old chicken tractor the bean is now barking over there there's something over there in the woods but this is new nugget this is my adorable little storage container that i got that uh, holds the uh, solar stuff thank you nathan matei for the based solar panel rack and for light harvest solar for this based adorable adorable cute little handsome aspen uh what does that say I'll just put a link to it in the description, you guys. But when I turn this bad boy on, I just have to do boop. Also, I use Flex Seal here where we drilled it in and it actually worked. Flex Seal is based. And this is where I store my Minecraft toy. I've got covered in old eggs that the chickens were laying on top of it. So basically, chickens just laid eggs on this thing until it broke. Look at this adorable little man. Look how handsome he is. He's like, let me through, Papa. Please, let me eat all your pumpkins. I just want to eat the pumpkin. This transplant died. Olive tree's thriving. Persimmon's doing okay, but needs a ton of water. Greenhouse is still adorable but all these plants are growing in here. No, mom, it's not Marowingus. It's some kind of dang weed that keeps growing here in Texas. It's even growing through the dang rack. Also, my friend put all these things in here and they didn't even have. How's about you guys email me and apply to be a master gardener so you can take care of all the garden because Uncle Ben's got a lot on his hands right now. He's got way too much to do. Someone who is based and, and master gardener pill come out here and take care of everything or at least give advice uh, to a team on how to take care of everything. The baby during the day be like, ooh, ooh, 
hello, Dad. You look good today. The baby at night be like, Dad, I will make your entire arm bloody. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the after party. The baby's kind of cringe, not as cool as a cappy. He'll do this, watch, he's gonna bite. He bites my dang shirt, and it's adorable, and I hate it. Sometimes when he bites the shirt, he'll bite the skin too, and it'll kind of hurt. <laughs> the baby's officially at an age where Uncle Ben can actually kind of fight back. Realistically, if you did want to fight a kangaroo, the one this size is not a threat to you at all. If you run across a kangaroo this size and you are a six foot tall man, this is not a threat to you. But if you are a small girl, maybe a five foot two female uh, weighing about 120 pounds, the baby actually could be a threat to you. This is what he did to my arm. But after I show him who's boss, you just kind of have to push him. One guy that punched the kangaroo, he didn't really even need to do that. You just kind of have to grab their chest and be like, oh, you, you can't even comprehend what this feels like. He's not even able to grab his own pectoral to scratch them. A cringe little creature, a cringe, boring little creature that can't even scratch his own chest. And as long as you got a good wingspan, you can kind of push him far enough away to where they can't really kick you. But if he was probably about two feet taller or a foot taller, I think he could. This is my son. He's very adorable. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Appreciate you. No, yeah, no capybaras in this video. You know what? No capybara. This is enough of a little, ooh. Ooh, give us a little kiss. How about you give us a little kiss to baby? How about you give us a little kiss? How about you shake our hand and give us a little kiss to baby? See, this is another thing you can do. So if you grab an adult random wild kangaroo and you just start grabbing its hand and start shaking it like this, I don't think he'd even know what to do. He might kick you though. Okay, I'm running away. Queen, you didn't help at all during that whole exchange. You're a fake friend. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put some antiseptic on my arm. And you know what? Fine, I'll say it. Pigs are cringe. Yeah, I really don't know why, you guys. There is no grass in here, except for the fact there's probably three pigs and we don't have any irrigation. Turns out we are actually in the middle of a decade low for rainfall for this area. It's actually not been this bad since 2013 and it wasn't even that bad back then we do have a couple moms somewhere on the property with some chicks i think they hide in the woods over there and queen protects them look so queen anything will come over here to try and get at those little chicks queen will just run after them and what's really cool is that queen would rather be attacking the monster than spending time with me that's what makes her such a good livestock guardian dog you're too much Look how he just attacks that little pole. He's like, I can't reach it, but I'm so upset. My name's Kevin. I'm cringe. I bite the little thing in front of me. I don't think this boy is smart enough to know who I am or what I do. I think he is a dumb bird masterfully wired to attack monsters and things that might be attacking its babies. Okay, it's how I've been taking care of the cappy. They make a mess of their little place here, but I give them their milk. I give them the, the dry food, the little fruit loops, these are little treats. I want them to know what treats are and hopefully like them so I can use this to win their heart. As you can see, they poop and pee exclusively in this little bowl here. Isn't that nasty? But to deal with this, I simply just throw this onto my pumpkin patch right here in the front of my house. These fellas just patrolling. I put these little carpets here so they'd have a little path. But there are no scratches on the vinyl. It's hilarious. But look at this adorable little man. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look how this boy just follows me everywhere and this man's just... These guys are kind of cringe. It's fine. I give them both these little treats. Here you go, sir. Take a little treat. It's kind of hard to even see his face from even a foot up. Big Ounce is a wholesome little boy, but I'd say that his major vice is greed. He likes to steal things from the other little fellas. And because of that, I actually had to rehome Plappa. Plappa was starting to get really, really sickly because he was just taking all her food. It's not my pet sitter's fault, but when I left for about four days, she wasn't making sure that uh, Plappa was eating. And because of that, she ended up getting pretty thin. But my friend's taking care of her and she's fine. And we'll get little videos and pictures of her when she's on her little vacation. She's basically going to fat camp, but she's going to get fat. This is what this little beast man looks like when he's eating. He just kind of grabs it with his little paw. Look, don't turn around. Look how fat he is. Man got some Serious, serious cake. Look at this boy. I was about you share a little bit of that with dad, huh? What is that? Is it good? It looks really good. Did you just get that? You mind if I... It looks really good. Did you just get that? Did you just get that? Oh, you, did... you ate all of it? Oh, no, there's still a little bit left. That looks really, really good. Is it good? I bet it's really good. Could I... Bet you the little obese boy. Yeah, see, I got it. This is all that was left. I'm gonna eat this. This is mine now. Look what the baby did to my arm. He's also very small. And for that, you're going in the fanny pack. All right, everybody, this is my little man. He did not want to get out of this. Actually, I don't, I don't know why he's doing that, but he actually really likes this. Okay, I went ahead and whacked all the weeds by hand. And look, this is our two mothers that are taking care of two baby chicks. They're tag teaming it. But look at these adorable little baby chicks. And these two mothers are doing an amazing job. That's actually Bertha 1 and Bertha 2. I'm not even joking. That's literally them. They always did have a knack for brooding. That's a much bigger bone. I like that one. Oh, the baby. All right, queen, here you go. 
Take that, that's a big bone for you. And you're just a dang turkey. As you can see, Gort and Quandale Dingle use their sushi bed now, and they are officially weebs that are also patriotic. Look guys, I got her over here in the bed. She heard her sister calling, so now she wants to go see her. I've been separating them a little bit so that I can get to know them one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this man, he's not really thinking about anything. I made a little nest for him here. This is where I keep him. Cappy bow. Cappy bappy. All right, we got this set up. Tank, my beautiful Uncle Tank and Uncle Ben are about to go skinny dipping right now. <laughs> But to all you real Urban Rescue Ranch fans, we have come a long way from Tank and I sitting on the front porch of the crack house before we even started any renovations to now finally having a neat little setup like this where we can jump right into the pool. Pretty soon we're going to get the Cappy Blappies out here. What? Look at this beautiful man. Oh, I'm just slippery in this pool, man. Oh. Uh? 